Okay, we're recording. We got that going for us. Hang on now. Uh, well, let's keep going. All right. Kittens, any of you kittens want to come in here? Hi. Oh, hi, kids. Hi. Hi. Oh, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay. Lots of kittens. Let's check these camera angles real quick. I think I want to get that other camera on. All right. Now let's see how it looks. Hi, buddy. I know. Okay. Well, we're going to go with that for now. So, uh, hi, everybody. All right. It's Saturday. It's uh, mailbag time. Let me just check the chat real quick. Uh, it seems like I'm being heard. Good. Okie dokie. Well, uh, the news of the week. Okay. Uh, first off, I got to start with um, most of the kittens have a little bit of whatever this upper respiratory infection is that's going around. Um, some of them have some eye issues. Some of them uh, have some little bit of wheezing and sneezing. Uh, all nose wheezing. There's nothing in the lungs as far as we can tell. It's all upper respiratory, so you know, not a huge worry. Um, I think I've been talking about it for a while because it's kind of been taking its time going around to everybody. Uh, it seems like they're sort of taking turns with it. Um, you'll notice that uh, little Greg has his one eye that looks bad, uh, but it's on the mend. I think it's getting better. Um, and uh, a couple of them also, um, you might notice sneezing a bit. Um, so uh, this week we started treating them with an antiviral. Uh, we got famcyclovir from our vet, a lot of it. Uh, but not even enough. Uh, as much as we got, um, there's so many of them that I want to give it to. So we've started giving it to just the ones that have symptoms uh, that are obvious. So um, that's right now I'm giving it to uh, our tailless twins, uh, little Julian and little January, as well as to Greg, of course, and Ari and Custard are also showing some signs. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody that I gave it to as well. Uh, anyway. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing. We're treating with some antivirals now because we've tried everything else and it doesn't seem to help very much. I do think the antivirals help, uh, just not as fast as I would like. It's, uh, honestly, it's a little disheartening to see the, the kittens sneezing and stuff all the time and to feel like I can't get it under control. Uh, but it is. It's just a, it's just a feeling, you know, it's just the way it feels. Um, but uh, obviously, um, we've seen several of them that have been through it already and are like fully recovered. Like little Holly was looking pretty bad uh, like a week ago and she's looking great now, like no sneezes or anything. She's probably going to sneeze right after I said that. But, um, you know, uh, she's been doing really well. So uh, hopefully everybody else can get on that into the program sooner rather than later. Now, they are scheduled for their spays and neuters coming right up on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so far, the, the doc um, hasn't made it sound like this is going to be a deal breaker for that. It's all, like I said, it's upper respiratory, probably not a big deal as far as it goes. But she'll be making that evaluation um, sort of on a case-by-case -case basis the day of the surgeries. So there is a possibility that some of them won't get their spays. Uh, I, I say some of them won't get their spays. There's only one to be spayed and she's fine. Neuters are much easier. So knock on wood, uh, probably everything's gonna go fine. But if she decides to postpone some, that could also alter some of the pickup schedules for the kittens. Uh, also, if anybody is adopting them that already has a cat, they may want to wait to pick them up until it's completely resolved. At least the symptoms are gone. That way, it's less likely to spread to their cat. Uh, whatever it is, seems like it's a little harder to knock out than most things. Usually, the faculty, uh, you know, every mom that comes in has been, had some kind of like upper respiratory, almost every mom that's come in has had some kind of upper respiratory infection. It's not unusual. Um, and it's almost always just herpes too, which is, you know, not a, not a huge deal one way or the other. 
but it is rare for the faculty to ever show any symptoms and uh, whatever this is has also hit them so uh, it uh, seems like it's maybe just a little bit more contagious than um, the kind of stuff that we usually see in here. So uh, I think that would be a good reason for uh, any adopter that has another cat to think about um, maybe waiting to pick them up until their, their kitten is not showing any symptoms. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that's about it, though, and we'll we'll deal with that as the as as it goes. I, I keep hoping that you know every, every day I'm like, okay, maybe today's the day it's finally all cleared up for everybody. Uh, these guys had it too, and they're mostly over it now. Uh, there were there were a few days this week when um, this is Sprout, but there were a few days this week when Drizzle, um, her lymph nodes were like so swollen from this thing that uh, like you could see it, uh, which is you know crazy. Uh, but she didn't seem too bothered by it, which was also surprising. Uh, and that's completely resolved for her now. So she's all back to normal and uh, acting like perfectly normal and happy. Not that she wasn't in the first place. So. Um, I guess my point being that they do get over it, you know, it's just, it's just taken uh, longer than I would like and it feels like it's taking forever because once one of them gets over it, another one gets it. So, uh, I'm sure parents that have multiple children have had this experience too. It's like the chicken pox, they all have to get it and get over it. Um, so yeah, all right. Uh, I think that's really it for the news. Like, uh, a teaspoon is, uh, basically recovered from his surgery and back to normal. Uh, he hasn't had his staples out yet, though. Uh, I still think DJ's probably going to do that rather than take him back to the vet to do it. Um, and I think that they said two weeks, so that would be this coming Tuesday that he would be ready to have his staples out, I think. His, his incision and the staples look perfect. I mean, just perfect. The, the, the doctor did an amazing job of um, putting him back together. <laughs> so uh, they really look nice. And uh, I'm sure as soon as they are, as soon as the date hits, they can come out probably with no trouble. So, uh, and if DJ has any trouble getting it out, of course, then we will bring him into the vet. But I, I think uh, it's something that she's done for humans plenty of times anyway. Um, so uh, what else is news? I feel like that's basically it. We have quite a few packages this week, uh, surprisingly. And one letter. Let's see here. Uh, I guess that's about it. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's uh, let's hop right in. We've got a letter here to start with that's got Easter stuff all over it, so I guess that's coming up. Uh, it's even got a cat wearing little bunny ears. Very cute. Uh, all right, it says, okay to read on stream, which we like. That's good. I should mention, by the way, that DJ received a beautiful artwork this week that came straight to the house, which is why we didn't do it during mailbag, and I don't know if the person that sent it wanted that uh, shown during mailbag or not. She's already put it up, I think, uh, somewhere where she can see it. I don't, I don't even know where it went, um, but uh, it was really cute, so thank you. Uh, okay, here we go. This, set, this has, a, by the way, a, a cat wearing a knit uh, Easter egg hat that's also ridiculous. Uh, it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ faculty and students, hugs, kisses, and sweet Easter wishes. Happy Easter and love from Cecilia. Oh, thank you so much. There's also a uh, riddle in here. What do you get when you cross a rabbit with a shellfish? The oyster bunny. Ha! Ha! Ah, that's, uh, that's definitely my quality of joke there. I like that. That's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, all right, what else? Uh, I guess that's it for letters, so we can just hop right in. And we've got two big piles of boxes here. I don't even know where to start. I do see we've got a couple of things that are labeled with numbers. We've got two sets of boxes, uh, one of two and two of two. So let's take a look here. All right, this is from uh, Mishi. And I'm going to need something to open it with. I think Mishi might be the only person in all of KA whose real name I know. Uh, I mean, uh, first and last, uh, because it's always on the packages instead of saying Mishi. 
I'm, I'm really bad with real names. I mean, we just... I grew up never really using them uh, at all because even before everybody was chatting online, I was on IRC and we would just always, my entire friend group had, uh, you know, handles is what we would call them, uh, you know, nicknames that you use online. So uh, yeah, I just uh, really used to, to just knowing people's um, uh, chosen name rather than their actual name, I guess. So here we have the per pack, and it, look at that, it says Skylight right on it, even though this is uh, like a drop ship straight from the merchant. So isn't that cool that they can put the cat's name on it, uh, on the per pack for you? That's, uh, that's really sweet. And this is one of those, oh, for Squeet, 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 for Sweet Skylight and her little lights, because even when you're studying hard, you've got to play hard, Spoogles from Mishi60 on Discord. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Um, and this is from the Etsy store, Peace Love Cats Gifts, apparently. Peace Love Cats Gifts. Um, and, uh, yeah, okay, that's what it says. Oh, please, kids, it's only polite to share. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, this is a, these are really cute boxes. I think we've gotten some of these before. I love that it's got the little stamp of the cat looking on the inside. And it's all decorated, um, and it's nicely wrapped up with this tissue paper that's on theme. And inside we've got a, a collection of really nice little cat toys, all the usual stuff. I'm sure you recognize this. And uh, Oh, uh, sorry, I picked that up again. we got the foam balls that they like, a little jingle ball, tiny packet of Yow catnip, the good stuff. We got a bag of Temptations in here, regular size bag. We got the plastic springs. We got some crazy mice, all the stuff you would expect, and a tiny little um, wand too. These are great. Fun. I know, I know, it's really fun. Okay, but that's not for you. This is for Skylight. She's the new kid, all right. I know she's probably the one that made you all sick, so I can understand if you want to take her toys away. <laughs> Uh, she, Skylight came in and she was, had these, the eyes that are really showing her third eyelid and always kind of squinty. And, uh, no matter what we've tried on her, we haven't gotten that to go away for her. So I kind of feel like she's patient zero, even though I initially thought it was Cal because she came in with a big sneeze that happens all the time. Uh, maybe it's both of them together and that's why it seems like it's been so hard to get rid of. Uh, but like I said, every mom cat comes in with something. Uh, it's just, it's just the way it is. Um... What was I going to say about Skylight? Oh, that, that we've tried um, on her. We've mostly just used antibiotics in her eye. Uh, we checked to see whether we could use the antiviral on her. And the survey says, we don't know. Um, it's, it's basically, if you look online, they're like, well, we tested it in pregnant mice. We tested it in pregnant rabbits. They were fine. Uh, nobody's tested it on pregnant cats. So we don't really know. I feel like it would be perfectly safe. Uh, famcyclovir is so safe that, that we don't even really worry that much about the dosages. Like you can give them twice or three times as much uh, and they're fine. So I feel like it would be fine to give to her, but I decided we would wait until we feel like it's really like a, a dire situation. Um, uh, you know, like she's really suffering. She doesn't seem like she's suffering at all. She seems like she's just fine with everything. So uh, I'm not super concerned about it and therefore uh, no need to try it. Um, but if, you know, if she seemed like she were uh, getting worse or that it was bothering her, then I'd go for it. I, I don't feel like it would be any kind of an issue. Uh, but I know some of you must have been wondering, uh, so that is that. Okay, so this is so sweet. It already says Skylight on it, too, so I don't have to relabel anything. That's very nice. Thank you, Mishi. Okay, uh, next up, we have a recycled Walmart box. That is the best kind of recycling, when you can just reuse something you've got. Hang on now. Perfect. Okay, to read online. I love it. And it says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, uh, faculty, moms, and kittens, I've enclosed a few toys for you to use as you see fit. On the flip side of this page, I wrote a redaction of uh, Calendar Girl. Oh, that's, um, now, I, you wrote to me to tell me that you accidentally wrote the wrong name in here. Um, and it's uh, Neil Sadakis that wrote cal and performed Calendar Girl. I had to look him up because I knew his name and I couldn't place it. And I didn't know the Calendar Girl reference, but I could see uh, after I looked him up, I'm like, oh, yeah, well, clearly that's what this is going to be about. 
Um, and I'm familiar with the song, too. It's stuck in my head now because uh, that was my dad's music, and I'd listened to a ton of it when I was young. Here's what I didn't know, though. When I looked him up, uh, one of the facts that came up is that he wrote uh, uh, the Captain and Tennille song. Now, I've already forgotten. I want to say it was Love Will Keep Us Together. And I never, I never realized that. It's a very catchy tune. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a weird connection. Okay. So you say, sorry for the repetitiveness. I tried to stay true to this song. Well, that's okay. I don't have to read every chorus. Uh, I wish each uh, adopting families many years of good health and lots of love and purrs. Congratulations to Professor Teaspoon on his graduation surgery and a very belated happy birthday. Good luck to Calendar and her tiny wimies for their upcoming graduation. I've enclosed a small token of appreciation for both Mr. A and Dr. DJ, something to make you smile. Good luck to Skylight and her soon-to-be kittens. Thank you for all you do for the feline community. From, uh, I'm going to use your Discord name on here. I was just talking about that. It's, uh, is it Boris and Yo-Yo on Discord? Uh, this looks like it says Boric. Uh, and I, I saw uh, your name on Discord because I saw what you said last night. Um, but now I don't remember. Uh, so we'll see you say Boric and Yo-Yo on Discord. So thank you. And you're free. Calico Daughter, the Precious Princess. Uh, Okay, thank you so much for that. So this is, uh, I'm sure you can just uh, imagine the tune of Calendar Girl yourself, but this is, uh, I love sweet calendars kittens. (laughs) That's cute. Uh, Each and every day of the year. Monday you start the week of fine, and you are our sweet Valentine, Julian. You have a tiny bobtail, and our love for you will not fail. My heart's in a whirl. I love, I love, I love sweet calendars, kittens, every day of the year. All right, Gregorian, we love your precious cow spots. That's why you're the very tops. January, you have a ferocious tabby roar. You're wonderful, and it's you we adore. Uh, Then we got the chorus again. Then we have holiday. You're so cuddly and cute, just like your mom in a calico suit. Friday, what a... Handsome kitty boy. I got to see who's getting annoyed there. That was loud. Maggie? Maggie! Hey, are we still friends or not? That's uh, Cal and Maggie going at it. They've been very playful, but apparently Calendar is not having it this morning. Uh, I should put one of them up. I think it'll be Cal. She's the one that's been a little bit uh, all over everybody this morning, so that's probably her just being a little bit upset about something. Hang on a second here. I know, it's not your fault, sweetie. It's not your fault, but why don't you take a little break up here? Just a little break. You can hang out right here in your private room, okay? There you go. Think about that. Uh, well, I'm up here. I'm going to let Teaspoon out. He was uh, having his breakfast, second breakfast. There we go. Quick detour. I think you guys can still, excuse me, hear me. Okay, sorry about all that. I think Maggie was just trying to play like they normally do. And the sign fell down. That spooked me. All right. There we go. Okay. So, uh, where was I? I was saying, uh, Cal and Maggie normally play. I don't know. Uh, Maybe, like I said, Cal's just having a rough morning. Uh, Let's see. Holiday, you're so cuddly and cute, just like your mom in a calico suit. Friday, what a handsome kitty boy. You bring the KA family great joy. That's really wonderful. I'm sorry about the interruption, but thank you uh, very much for sending that. And uh, let's see what you have sent. We've got a bunch of these felt... Oh, oh. Now, I saw this this gun once before, Was it? but I, I didn't have quite so much ammo for it last time I saw it. Let's see if we can get this to... Here, look out. Hang on, hang on. Here, let me, watch this. You ready? He doesn't know where to look because he doesn't know what's about to happen. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. There we go. Boop. (laughs) 
That is a fun toy. All right. Um, so we've got a little gun and we've got a ton of these little, um, I wanted to say felt balls. I guess that's kind of what they are. I don't know if it's actually felt. We have this uh, little toy that's apparently already getting played with. All right, you can play with it. I'm not going to stop you. Oh. Okay. Uh, also, I wonder, these are the little Charlie balls. I bet we could also use these in this pea shooter. There we go. Pea shooter. That's the... Hey, teaspoon. It's a tea shooter now. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> They're so soft that it doesn't, like, he doesn't even feel it when it hits him. He's just like, well, what? what are you asking me for? Anyway, that's very cute. This is this is fun, uh, and I think, like I said, I think I've got another one of these so somewhere. Huh. Uh, weird coincidence. The the little grip pattern on this looks exactly like a pineapple. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. I got to take a little picture of it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be a pineapple, but it certainly looks like a pineapple. So now I've got two of them. I'm going to have to get a holster, <laughs> a little weirdly shaped holster. Uh, speaking of holsters, I saw somebody asking what this is, and that's I'm, I'm using a phone holster right now. I used to use one all the time, and it's Boric and Yo-Yo. I see that. Um, I used to use one of these all the time, and I realized uh, um, that I, I, I kind of miss it as the way to do this thing. I know uh, some people think they're cool. Some people think they're awful. Um, but uh, I find it super convenient, so I'm going to probably stick with it for a while. We'll see. I've really been enjoying it so far. Okay, what else did you send? Boric and Yo-Yo, you sent something for Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Now, Dr. DJ is at work today. She had to work this weekend. Um, but it looks like what you sent is a, oh, a little pin. Uh, and it's, <laughs> it's got a, it's a pin, pin that, uh, you know, like you wear on your shirt. Uh, um, and it is a pill bottle, and it's got a kitten sticking his head out of the pill bottle, and the prescription on the side, you can read it, it says, antidepressants cuddle three times daily. That is completely adorable. I love it. Uh, that's something I bet I could get DJ to wear on her scrubs or her jacket. And the one for Mr. A, oh, it's like, a, it's like a parody of the Starbucks logo. It's a little kitty, and it says cats and coffee, which uh, definitely is, is my style. In fact, let's put it on right now. Why wait? There we go. There we go. I'm going to put it, uh, because it's easy to do, right here on this flap. There we go. I have a pretty big collection of pins that people have sent in uh, that I keep in my uh, closet with all my stuff, and I'm looking at it all the time, and they're so cute, and I never get around to actually putting them on the way I intend to. So there we go. All right, uh, this is this is really cute. I need to put it someplace so that I get it to DJ. I guess for now, I'm just going to set it right over here. These kids are on everything. So, uh, Boric and Yo-Yo, thank you very much for that and for the song especially. That's wonderful. All right, you kids want to play in this box? Go right ahead. I'm going to put it right over here. You want the box or you want the toys? I don't know. Okay, moving right along. Oh, this is a box two of two, so we have to wait on that. This is also a box two of two. Okay, let's go to this pile. This says Minnesota KA fan, and there's no instructions about whether it's one or two, so let's go for it. All right, Minnesota KA fan. Ooh, the note. That's got little cat stamps on it. Very cute. Wow, this is a box packed full of stuff. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, kittens and mom cats and faculty, sending a small package that includes some items for humans and some for kittens, mom cats, and faculty. Please deploy the latter as you see fit. Ooh, enjoy the mini chocolate stroop waffles. And the cat dad socks are to remind you what a wonderful and caring dad you are to the tinies, the not so tinies, moms, and faculty. Regards from Minnesota KA fan. Well, thank you so much. Um, all right. We, <laughs> they're going to tear up that letter. I guess that's fine, right? 
Uh, we have a beautiful pair of Cat Dad socks. These are very nice. Uh, they, they're soft. They're the long kind. And uh, they've got all kinds of different cat heads on them. There's little Siamese. There's a little uh, yellow tabby. There's a, a tuxi. That's, that's really cute. Thank you so much. Those look super comfy. Um, I see the chocolate stroop waffles. Wow, you said many, but it's also many. Uh, chocolate stroop waffles. Those are so good. Oh my goodness. Um, I've been so good about my diet. I have to tell you how proud I am of myself um, that uh, there was all that chocolate that was sent last week for the mail bag. I haven't touched, and the, the uh, moon pies too. Uh, I haven't touched any of it yet. I don't, I don't know how that happened. I've never gone a day, uh, you know, after a mail bag without getting into everything. And somehow I, I went the whole week. Uh, it's amazing. Although uh, I did last night have sort of a cheat night uh, where DJ had gotten an ice cream cake and I had to eat some. Uh, that was bad. But other than that, I feel really proud of myself. Um, all that stuff, of course, I'm going to get to it at some point. Um, but, uh, but that feels good. This is going to be super yummy. So here we've got a couple of really cute little, uh, I guess they're cheese wedges. And uh, it says uh, Mutt's and Mittens brand. They're super soft and they've got little uh, bumps on them to give them some texture. Also, I guess the same brand. We've got these carrots, perfect for Easter. Probably I should deploy those uh, sooner rather than later. And a couple of these cute little red hearts, all very much uh, from the same brand. <coughs> all the same shape, too. We've got a thing for sort of triangular shapes, don't we? Oh, and look at this. Uh, this is just like the comfy uh, mat that they were sleeping on so much in the other room, and still do. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller, but it's got the same Sherpa on one side, and it's really soft. This is almost sort of a lavender color, isn't it, uh, on this side. I'm going to leave this one in here. In fact, I might put it on this thing that I'm sitting on. Uh, it's also the perfect size to fit on that uh, chair that's got the camera in it. Well, for now, I'm going to put it right over there, and uh, we will figure out where to put it uh, after that. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Minnesota fan. Uh, I'm going to put one of these carrots out right this minute and eat some plastic. What do you think? Huh? You want a carrot? I can feel the catnip in there. Uh, where are you taking that? Where are you going with the bubble wrap? Are you going to pop it all? I know that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Okay. Thank you again, Minnesota KA fan. All right, right there. Next, uh, well, Maggie's on top of that one, so let's do this. Very puffy package, whatever this is. Ooh, oh, wow. All right. I did not open that as carefully as maybe I ought to have. Uh, I didn't expect that this is what this was going to be, but I should have. I probably should have noticed the name, but I covered it up already. So... Where's our note? There it is. All right, good. I think we all know what this is now. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream, sealed with actually actual sealing wax. All right. Hope you saved some of that for your sealing. And inside we have a blue cat. Oh, very pretty. Wow, those colors are amazing, that blue. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to come through very well on the stream, but it's eye-catching. I love it. Um, Mr. A and Dr. DJ wishing you a happy spring filled with sunshine, warmth, and kittens. Love, true blue. They're all excited because I cut right through the bag. Don't worry, I didn't cut through any of the toys, but I'm going to have to grab a new bag for these because that catnip is powerful. Um, so, the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, first off, let me thank you for having the patience of uh, patience most of us Discorders and YouTube viewers were lacking while waiting for the adoption of Serenity, Till, Sprout, and Drizzle. You said it would happen when both the time and adopters were perfect, and you were right. Both Till and Serenity look so happy. You're so right. Thank you for saying that. We've seen plenty of pictures from their adopters, and they look great. Um, uh, Serenity, I was just saying, I, had, I, I was talking to DJ about the latest picture that we saw of her in Alumni and how great she looks. Uh, she, I, I know I said it while she was here, like this, is, this was not the right environment for her to thrive in. 
And it's really wonderful to see that I was right, that, that you know, now that she's got her home, she seems like she really is thriving. Uh, so, um, let's see. Uh, oh, and you say thriving. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm sure Sprizzle can't wait to meet their forever family. Now on to the timey wimeys. Calendar and her kittens have been an absolute joy to watch. Calendar is such a chill mom cat, and watching her now start to play with her kittens instead of just momming them is hilarious. She has been super playful. It's great to see her running around and playing with them. I truly hope her adopters join Discord so we can watch her and Holiday grow and thrive in their new home. But we all know that is an adopter's choice. Yeah, but that gives me a good chance to say um, I've emailed her adopter a couple times and it must be getting spam bucketed. So I have to actually call him on the telephone now, uh, which I've put off. But it seems like I've put it off long enough since they're getting their graduation surgery this coming week. Uh, I don't know, is it more polite if you have to call somebody randomly to do it, like, you know, on a weeknight or a uh, weekend or during the day? I guess it really depends on the person, huh? Um, okay, uh, where was I? All the boys, uh, and all the boys being adopted separately but in loving homes, I just know they're going to do great with their new humans and fur siblings, and we're all looking forward to getting updates. Lots and lots of updates. <coughs> Kicker time! I went through several ideas for kicker fabric themes and, realizing they'd be going to their forever homes in early spring, I decided on flowers for everyone. I took special care to try to match the flower patterns with the kittens and calendars color patterns and am quite happy with the results. Please note that I also took uh, had a little fun with the fringe on the bottom. I know the Academy has had some tech issues lately as well as the day-to-day -day challenge of having an overload of cats and kittens to care for, tease vet visits, and new mom skylight. I just want you both to know you're doing a remarkable job, but take time to take it easy. Self-care is important. Love, True Blue. Thank you so much. That is all wonderful to hear, and uh, I just, I really appreciate that note. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at these wonderful catnip kickers. This one is for Calendar. Very pretty flower pattern, and uh, the fringe is super cute. I think uh, what you've done again with her fringe is included maybe one for each of her kittens. I don't know. I know you've done that before. Um, oh, maybe they're all like that this time. This is uh, also very cute. It says Friday. Okay. Very orange and white. I see what you did there. Okay, now I'm opening it in two places. <clears throat> I see I cut right through by the zipper. Uh, this is Holiday, super flowery, also kind of calico, I see that. Uh, so this one has orange and white, but also some darker colors. That's oh, January, okay, it's so just a little bit of white, just like January. This one is Monday, mostly orange. Uh, let's see here, this one is Julian. Uh, I, I got Julian and January's names confused again. I keep doing that. All right. I know what I meant. And finally, Gregorian. Yes, all right, perfect. He gets the black and white one, of course. He does stand out, doesn't he? These are wonderful. Uh, thank you so much. I know their adopters are going to love them. I know they're going to love them. They're already kind of interested, aren't you, buddy? All right, but let's save these for later. Uh, I'm putting them back in this bag. I'm probably going to have to get them a different bag, though. <laughs> My bad. I went right through that. I should have known better. I just wasn't paying close enough attention. Okay. Um, let's put that... Uh, that's not it. Let's put that in here. Take downstairs. Excellent. We can put that in there too for now. And this. All right. Okay. Uh, next up. Let's see. I'm trying. Okay. This is just addressed to Kitten Academy. Let's see. Maybe there's a note on the inside. Hmm. What on earth? Hey, buddy, don't take that away. For Julian, because every little gentleman needs a bow tie. Aw, from Craftwork and Rachel. All right. Craftwork and Rachel, a bow tie for Julian. I bet he will look great in it. You might have to grow into it a little bit, though. Also, it says upgraded on it. So it's an upgraded bow tie for our little gentleman. 
Julian. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's a good color for him, too. It's an orange plaid. And I think even on its smallest setting, it might still be a little big for him. Although, uh, if I remember to, I can always give him one of our tiny kitten collars because it looks like this, the bow tie piece would easily come off of here. So we could give him a collar that fits, and then this could be for later. Yeah, the bow tie part is just on there with some elastic. He's interested in it. He doesn't know. He doesn't have any idea what this is all about. Okay. Well, this is super cute, though, and he's going to look absolutely dashing in it. Aren't you, buddy? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to put it back in here for now and put a label on it. There we go. So that we don't forget who this is for. Assuming I can find my pen, my Sharpie. It's supposed to be right here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just didn't see it. All right, that did say uh, Julian, right? I don't want to uh, think of the wrong kitten here. Uh-huh. Julia. Okay. All right. Thank you, Craftwork and Rachel. Julian. You want it right now, buddy? I can see you want it right now. You're not big enough yet. You got to grow up big. Real big. Okay. Okay. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, you want my, you want my button, huh? Button? Thank you. These kids are so crazy. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Is this a numbered box? I don't see anything on it that suggests this is a numbered box. Let me check chat real quick just to make sure that everything is still going okay. Yes, looking good. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. I know I just put my knife in the box. I saw myself do it. Paying attention this time. Uh, now, where is it? What are you trying to get out of there? Oh, my gosh. Okay. No, I think this has got to be the vet calling, right? It is. They want to remind me of my appointment. Um, you know what? They can. Uh, they know I'll remember. I think. I'll get back to them. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I thought I saw. I knew who this is from. This is obviously from Clint, um, and it is the usual. Oh, there's a note in here. A real note. There's a real note at the bottom of this. I love it. Okay, to read online. I love it. Oh, thank you. Mr. A, here are the bulls Lisa told you about for Callie, her kittens, and for Skylight from Clint in NH. Uh, it says, Caring Paws Rescue. Oh, that's great. Clint, I just, um, when I saw the box and your name on it, uh, it's just, it's so wonderful that you always send these great steel bulls for uh, every single class. And I was thinking about how I just, I never would expect this, this kindness to be... Um, so continual just you've been doing it for such a long time for every class it is greatly appreciated uh the thought that i had this morning was if you ever stop and that's fine it's fine you just you've been keeping it up for so long uh, I, again i really don't expect it but if you do ever stop you have to let me know that you're okay once in a while because i would worry um uh, this is this is great so uh, thank you for that Okay, uh, Clint, that's great. I don't think we normally get a handwritten note from you, and uh, that's fantastic. So, thank you. I'm going to actually put your handwritten note with these so I see it again when I'm handing them out. Uh, they aren't going to fit in this box, are they? We'll just stack them up for now. Okay. There we go. Maybe we move everything to the other box. We'll figure it out in due time. Okay, that says box two of two. So that's not it. Uh, okay, box two. Oh, okay. And, oh, hi, Teaspoon. Are you going to pop the bubble wrap now? Okay, this is a box one of two from, I think you can all tell now who this is from. 
busy cat. I think that also gives us an idea what might be inside. What do you think, buddy? All right, the knife guard. And it says, busy cat, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Endowment quilts for Callie and the Timey Wimeys. They didn't all fit in one box, so the smaller box has Callie and Holidays. Lots of love, Busy Cat. Thank you, Busy Cat, and thank you again for uh, your wonderful YouTube channel. All right, uh, this is, uh, first off, this material looks very familiar. Uh, do you recognize it? This is uh, for Gregorian. It's very cute. I love this. Oh, you've included washing instructions. Uh, wonderful, and I can smell the draft. So uh, the reason I recognize this material is we just saw it. Oh, oh no, everything now is coming apart. There we go. On the cheese. Look at that. It's the same. That's very cute. So this is for Gregorian. It's a cheesecloth, I guess. Ha, you see what I did there? Okay. Monday. Oh, the same stuff, but in this beautiful teal color. Hi, do you want to get right on there, teaspoon? I bet you do. Uh, here's one for Friday. Look at that. We've got the same stuff in every color. This is so soft, and the, the little texture on it is so nice to touch. I bet the cats love it. So Friday gets a lavender. Oh, you really do. You stuck to the theme for everybody, but a different color. This is also great. This is like a seafoam green here for January. We've got kittens in the box. <laughs> Julian is uh, this beautiful blue, which is not the same as this uh, sort of more greenish blue. This is more of a, a cornflower blue, I would say. Whoa. Okay, come on now. Uh, and is there one more in here? Nope, just a, just a Friday is in there. Okay, I'm not going to try to put all your tissue back there. I'm having too much fun with it, but I am going to use the box. So you need to come out for a minute there, Friday. There we go. Okay, I love these colors. I love the material, and I love that it's just all matching. It's so pretty. Uh, so let's find your box two of two. Uh, oh, the smaller box. Of course, it's this one that's also decorated with your stuff. All right. Oh, Busy Cat, these are great. I know their adopters have got to love these little blankets. We use your blankets constantly for everything, for our carriers and for that box upstairs and all the stuff. Uh, so this one's for Callie. Of course, she gets the KA themed version. And Holiday gets this lovely pink for the girl. Very cute, I see. And I like the way you put these two together because, of course, they are together. There we go. So I can put them right back together. That's perfect. Okay. There we go. I'm going to write Holiday and Callie on here, I think. Uh, I don't need to write it on there. I need to open it anyway. I'm going to put your note back in here, too, so I get to see it again when I go through the endowments, which may be soon. Soon. Busy Cat, thank you again. Uh, these are beautiful. Uh, that material is really fun. Uh, it's just so nice to touch. It's soft and uh, it's just got a lovely texture to it. I'm probably blocking that camera now, huh? All right, let's try that. We're almost through. It's fine. We'll find a way. <laughs> These kids are wrestling. All right. Uh, so, okay, uh, two of two. This must be one of two. Oh, this is from Bob and Ruth again. All right, Bob and Ruth, thank you. This box is bursting at the seams. Let's see what we got in here. Wow, it really is. It's like, you know, that'll never fit back in there. All right, we have the note right on top. Oh, and a beautiful throw for uh, Skylight, I see. It says, okay to read on stream with these cute little kitten. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's got such a silly face. <laughs> All those stickers are cute. Okay. Uh, all right, I see minty green. Oh, it's an Easter card. Of course it is, with the pastel colors. Uh, it's an Easter egg with a little chick, and it looks like it's another pop-up card for Maggie or whoever. And it's a, it's a 
eggshell that's been cracked open with a little chick and there's flowers coming out of the giant eggshell. That's really pretty. And your note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Happy Easter! Oh, wow, you're going right for it. <laughs> He's hugging those flowers to death. Okay, uh, Happy Easter. What a great time to have a new mom cat to bring new kittens to KA. Skylight is a beautiful girl and can't wait to see her little ones. The items in the box are marked, and if not, please use as you see fit. Thank you both for all you do. All our appreciation, Bob and Ruth. Well, you guys know you have all our appreciation. It's wonderful um, uh, what great care you've taken of the kittens uh, over time. It's, it's fantastic. So thank you so much. And this is for Skylight. We have this velvety throw. It is very velvety. And uh, what is this giant bag for K.A.? It's some kind of a pod. I see that, but it's also got uh, rabbit ears, I think. Uh, so it's an Easter pod. And, you know, I was just looking for a pod that I could put in the sunroom temporarily because Ari was skulking around in there this morning, I think, looking for a place to hide. And he might have appreciated a pod, I thought. But then I didn't pick one out. I just moved their little... Um, boxes around so it does look like it is a rabbit because it's got little tiny rabbit ears on top and a bunny tail on the back and uh, it's even got a bunny nose here in the middle if you can tell this goes on the inside there we go very cute now these look like little bunny paws that are they're sewed to the side but they look like they'd be a lot more effective if i undid them i guess i'm going to need a seam ripper if i did uh, as paws, anyway. So those look like little bunny paws, but uh, they, they're really sewn on there, I think. I don't want to try to do it with this knife. I'll have to get a seam ripper, but uh, uh, that's super cute. I think, I think they would be cuter if they weren't attached. I think maybe they're supposed to come apart. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what was intended here. That's fine for now. The ears are so cute. And look, we can put this carrot right in there. There you go. Now it's on theme. Uh, perfect. I'm going to put this in the sunroom as soon as the mailbag is over. And it looks like Teaspoon is in here looking at what's next is another. I think it's the same pod. It is. Um, but this one doesn't have a label on it at all. So that means it's also for KA, I guess. Uh, wow, these rabbits are going to be multiplying around here. I think it's a bunny. I don't want to have to have it all floof up just to find out. Is this the ear? Well, now I think we got to take a quick look and see if that is, in fact, also a bunny. <laughs> you do you. All right. <laughs> Little sprout. I'm just trying to find something that I can identify uh, in here as being definitively the bunny. But these little ears look different. All right, let's solve this mystery. We're just going to have to open it up. Let it all puff up. There we go. Oh, it is. Yep, there we go. The ear was just crushed on there. All right, in that case, I'm not going to take it all the way out. And there's a third one as well that also has no labels. So we've got tons of bunnies here. Um, we'll put just the one out for now, but then we'll figure out the rest. And also a tin of 100% organic catnip. Ah, oh, that's a nice little tin. Oh, it's this is the good stuff, Jackson Galaxy. Okay. It says this is the good stuff on it, of course. All right. Let's see if it's true, Jackson. Oh, Teaspoon's in that bunny already. You probably can't see him too well from any of the cameras, but he is he stuffed himself right into it. You like that, buddy? Yeah, with his carrot? Okay. Let me share that picture real quick on Discord. Wow, 
Wow. Oh, well, it's packed in, that's for sure. Oh, it does smell good. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit right here on the floor. Oh, it's very fine. <laughs> very fine. Wow. All right. Well, there we go. That's more than I intended to put down because I was trying to get it to go further. Uh, it's a nice tin, though. I mean, they're really nice. That's great. That's like the ones you pay a fortune for to keep your spices in. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm going to put that right over there as well. Somebody likes it. That reminds me, I don't think that we've given out the uh, chicken catnip yet. Uh, I brought it upstairs, and I think it got put in the treat drawer and hasn't been used yet, but I'm still very curious to see what the kids think of it. Huh. Okay, uh, wait, there's more, though. Bob and Ruth, we're not done yet, because you sent box two of two as well. So, um, now I have lost my knife. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Teaspoon is, is really enjoying that bunny. He's all snuggled up in there. That was quick. Wow, okay, this is some sort of a very nice blanket. Oh, waterproof, reversible, faux fur, Sherpa blanket. So this is like the marshmallow blanket, um, I guess. Uh, wow, we can always use another waterproof one. It's not labeled, so this is clearly for us. And it's a lovely Easter pink. I was just thinking about how I need to put uh, the, take the blankets off of the chairs and, and wash them and put on new ones. This is the perfect size for a chair or a bean bag. Let's see here. I just want to see if it's really the marshmallow material. <laughs> I hope you can see Fry flipping out. Ooh, oh, the Sherpa side of this. I don't think we've got any waterproof blanket that's made out of this kind of fuzzy Sherpa. Wow. Uh, we do have one that's the marshmallow material that I love. I think it's on the, the bed in the main room. The bean bag, I mean. All right, how do I undo this? Oh, look at that. I got it. Oh, that's so soft. And yes, oh, on this side, it is the, the marshmallow bed material. Oh, man, this is great. This is a great little waterproof blanket. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, thank you very much for that. We use so many of these. I'll tell you, I was just in my office, and uh, um, Loganberry has been in my office uh, all night and uh, still there right now. And I could smell some pee somewhere in there, I thought, and I couldn't find it, which is strange because I have really taken my whole office and sort of pee-proofed it. I mean, I know there's no such thing, but I took like all the soft stuff that I could find out because I know that's one of the things that uh, uh, Loganberry tends to go for is, you know, like soft uh, beds that aren't his or, uh, uh, you know, stuff like this waterproof blanket would probably really attract him for that. Uh, and I just, I couldn't, I, all that's all gone. And so I, I looked at everything I could think of and I couldn't find it yet. Maybe it was just my nose. You know, sometimes it's like that. You just get paranoid. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and check on it though. Okay. So what else is in here? We've got a pile of these adorable toys. This one is for KA, this lovely bird that's got the door hanger on it. And Callie gets one, too, which is good because she would go crazy for one of those. And Skylight, too. Perfect for mom cats. All right. I haven't seen Skylight be too playful yet, but I do notice that sometimes her toys are all in different places in the morning, so maybe she plays when I'm not looking? I don't know. Uh, here we have Shrimpy Shrimp Temptations. We have Delectable Squeeze Ups. That's like Churu, uh, but from uh, which company is this one? Hurt, hearts, 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 hearts. Okay, hearts. There we go. We also have your usual uh, bucket of treats. This one has got squeeze ups, the baby food, which is perfect, and more churu in it, as well as, oh, fancy feast gems, a mousse pate with, with beef, and a halo of savory gravy. Um, that sounds yummy. <laughs> Uh, we've been using, um, or had been using, uh, Churu for like a reward after the, all the medicine that we've had to give these kids, especially Teaspoon. He loves Churu, and uh, we, uh, for the first week after his surgery, had to give him so many medicines. Um, we went through a ton of Churu, 
and in fact um, cleared out our entire supply and had to order more of our own churu for the first time in forever, which is also, I think, really a testimony, uh, testament to, to how uh, wonderful all of you have been keeping us supplied uh, with all the stuff. It's, it's really, it's fantastic. It's more than, than we could ever, uh, I think, properly appreciate you for. Um, and by you, I mean everybody, although um, Ruth and Bob, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we haven't we haven't ordered churu ourselves in such a long time, but DJ just ordered a couple boxes of it for uh, for giving after medicine to say I'm sorry. I guess it's really good for that, um, or for mixing the medicine into, which worked for Callie for a short time, uh, but then she got wise to it and was like, Nah, maybe I don't like churu after all. <laughs> so she is really hard to medicate and uh, unfortunately her little kid Julian really takes after her in that regard very difficult to medicate he's still a kitten so I can manage um, uh, she is I mean I got to pull out all the tricks to get a medicine into her uh, thank goodness it seems like she might be over whatever it is and so I haven't had to give her any medicine uh, this week uh, I don't know the last few days anyway all right uh, moving along Still more in here. Kitty kick sticks. Wow, these are huge. Uh, I guess these are catnip kickers, but they're so long. Look at that. Oh, and they're uh, like Valentine's themed. I guess they got beautiful hearts on them. Uh, lovely. These are these are very long for catnip kickers. Of course, I say that he's playing with one the same size right there right now. That's uh, got all this Easter colors on it. So I guess this is a good size for a catnip kicker. Um, these are those same toys that we just saw them steal. Did they take it away? Uh, I don't see it, so they probably did run away with it. I also hear them playing with some kind of paper back there. Uh, okay, so uh, that's wonderful. We've got these fun tubes. That's always a winner. There you go. Uh, I see also a couple of these fetch mice. This one's a watermelon and a, a medium-sized Charlie ball. Uh, oh, and a very fuzzy mouse, very hairy. Oh, look at that. He's going right for the kicker. You want to play with this? Okay, there you go then. All yours. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. Come on, show it to his boss. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Wonderful. Okay. Wow, there's just a ton of the loose stuff in here, like these, uh, the jingly bells and more and more fun tubes. Okay, I'm going to leave those in there for now. What is this? It's a tunnel and a ball. That's cute. Also, both very Valentine-y themed. Is this a tunnel? It doesn't look like a tunnel. It's not a tunnel, is it? It's for the ball to go into. Uh-huh. Is it? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I haven't seen this before. So it's like a, it's like a bag almost. It's very flat, um, but it does raise up just about two inches here all the way around. So it's like a short, squat cylinder. And somewhere there's got to be a thing to put the ball in, right? That's got to be what it's for, I'm assuming. Maybe not, though. Maybe there's no opening. Maybe you just put the ball on it or under it to further make the game work for them? Yeah. Thank you. I think it, maybe it's just crinkly after all. Oh, there it is. There's an opening on the bottom, I see, right here. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, let's try it. I love this kind of thing. Let's, if the ball has a charge anyway, let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, oh. It seems like it needs to be charged up. That doesn't seem like it's super active. I don't know. It does a little something. Let's try it out. Oh, there we go. Now it's really going. Okay, hang on. I'm going to put that right there and see if they can figure it out. It doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere, but at least it's got their attention. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's going to be fun. I have not seen that before, but that is a great sort of variation on the undercover mouse sort of toy. Um, I don't know about that ball. I bet you could stick a P16 in there and it would really be nutty. Um, 
but either way, that little tiny opening is perfect. It's unlikely for that to come out or for them to find a way in, and it's just going to be captivating. I like the light kind of shows through. That's a cool toy. Uh, okay, and a new one on me. This is the Let's Snuggle Pet Throw, a cozy way to cuddle up. Huh, I don't, uh, well, it's made out of very soft material. This is like a fake fur on this side, much softer than the marshmallow bed material even. On this side, it's very velvety, cottony. Uh, that's wonderful. Very soft little blanket, okay. A pet hoodie, what? The Do Nothing Club. Wow, this looks like it's made the right size for custard and the right uh, the right slogan too. Uh, that's such a cute hoodie too. I gotta try it out on somebody. I think I think this sounds like a custard thing to me. That's adorable. Okay, we'll try that on him in due time. Here we have a uh, LED cat nail clipper. That looks like a nice one. It's got a light on it too, which is nice. It's hard. I mean, you really need a lot of light to cut those nails the right way. I'll try this out. Um, you know, I'm always, uh, not always, it's been a long time since he's even come up. <clears throat> I mean, is he really relevant anymore? But uh, I'm always kind of making fun of Jackson Galaxy, not for any real reason. It's just become a thing. He's a fine person, I know. Uh, but um, the, the nail clipper that he sells is still one of my favorite nail clippers, even for using on people. It's like a people nail clipper, but it's got a hinge on it so you can point it at any direction um, different than the, than the side that you use to actuate it, um, which is great. It's just great because you can put it the right angle so you can really get in there whichever way the cat is. You don't have to try to wrangle them around and get them in just the right direction to use the clippers or to make it awkward. Um, of, of all the Jackson Galaxy stuff, I think the nail clippers are my favorite. Uh, assuming it's still the same one he sells. We've had ours forever. Um, Okay, another one of the same very, very fuzzy little uh, pet throws. We love those. Look at this tiny little wand. Oh, that's perfect for kittens. That is a perfect kitten size wand. That's like a pocket wand. Okay, put that right in there. And one more thing. Last but not least, it looks like a, is this just a, a flat? It is. This is just like the other mats that we have now, but this one's made out of the marshmallow material. Look at that. That's going to be another one that they love to just sit on. It's just a little marshmallow pad, I guess. Uh, it's a little thicker than the other pads, but not by a lot. Very, very nice. Uh, Ruth and Bob, thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate you um, taking such wonderful care of all the cats and of us as well. This is a great, great box of toys for everybody. Teaspoon is just owning that bunny bed now. I want to put the marshmallow thing out, but I just put that one out. So we'll, uh, we'll save the marshmallow one, I think, for later. And uh, I do want to take these two things upstairs, at least. Uh, one for custard and one to deploy somewhere where we need a waterproof blanket. Perfect. I'm glad that ball came with a charge because they are having a ball with it. I don't know why I said that, like it's some kind of a wordplay. It wasn't intended to be wordplay, and it wasn't very good either, so I uh, disavow that comment. Okay, uh, that was all a mailbag though. Let me move this out of the way so you can see little teaspoon in his teapot. Uh, maybe you can anyway. All right. The rest of this I'll need to get put away in its proper locations. That is great. Again, I don't know so much about the ball it came with. Um, it doesn't seem like it's moved at all since they started. Oh, it's a good thing that's made out of like a ripstop nylon too, because they are going to try their hardest to rip it. That That's great. Wow, I don't know where you found that, but... Uh, what a, what a fantastic idea that is. Honestly, I've done it before with like our pop-up tents and stuff. I've put a ball or something in it that gets their attention and they love it, but the ball always comes right out. It never lasts as a toy. Um, you know, they just they pull the ball out and game over, or they just knock the thing over and the ball falls out and it's not that much fun. This looks like I, don't, I can't imagine that ball coming out until I take it out. Um, I guess it's theoretically possible, but it seems pretty unlikely. Um, um, probably it's going to need a new charge, though, and 
Again, maybe I'll put a different ball in there. Still really cool. Okay, these need to go downstairs, so I'll just add them to that. Uh, I might want to switch up these boxes so it's easier for me to carry this stuff where it goes. Let's figure this out. Okay. This can go here. This can go here. Clint's bowls can go in here. Thank you, Clint. Ah, now I think we're getting it. Now I can close this up. Like so. There we go. And I can add uh, this. And what else has to go down? That can go in the stack. You guys got into this and then out of it right away. What are you trying to do? You don't need a knife. You're trying to be a tough kid. Okay. there perfect okay this is all to go downstairs then oh, there we go and this all right i should turn off my mic before i forget well oh, it's pointing the wrong way i hope you guys can hear me it fell down i wonder how long ago that was <sighs> okay Hang on now. Bring the tissue pit up when I go down. I'll, I'll take this stuff down and bring it up the pit. Because it looks like you want a pit. You want a pit? Seems like you do. What's up, T Bunny? all the packing material like so oh there's one back there okay. <laughs> yeah this is down there very well okay I tried
why don't we take that ball to charge and put the P16 in here right now, like I was saying, just to see. I think this is charged up. I guess it's hard for anything to move around too much in there. There we go. <laughs> I'll take this one to go plug in for a little bit. Teaspoon, oh my goodness, buddy, so cute.
All right, thanks again, everybody. That was a great mailbag full of wonderful stuff from great people, as always. And uh, I'm going to end the recording right here, just so I don't forget. Well, I'm sure this is going to continue to be entertaining for a little while. And this too. It's like suction to the floor when I tried to pick it up for a second. You can hear it. That is a lot of noise from the tissue. Oh, shh. Oh, my goodness. So much jumping on each other.
things are plastic. Thank you. It's all right. I see which is a more fun toy, huh? Let's move this out of the way. Ah, ah, try again.
You know, you probably want to fill up your dry food, huh? See if I can get some of that. Yeah, I'm gonna everybody run in here. right here okay that way I don't have to worry about everybody running to find me Good luck, Greg.
right, I gotta put this up for a while because I'm going. See this Twego and it reminds me of Till a lot. She really liked this thing. I'm gonna take this for charging, okay? Alright, time to charge it. No, you're not helping. This is not helping now. Okay, buddy, don't run. Why don't I put the nice blanket by the front door for a while since I had to take this away? 